Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here, and it's time to review White Noise. This is directed by Noah Baumbach, and it follows Jack Gladney, played by Adam Driver, who's a professor of Hitler studies at a university. He has four children and a wife, played by Greta Gerwig. And the movie doesn't really have, like, a consistent plot, but the biggest event that sets off in this movie is that there's an airborne toxic event caused by chemical waste being released from a train crash that causes the entire town to have to evacuate. But really this movie is a journey following this main character's fear of death and how he and other people around him cope with this fear. And a lot of the movie is also just exploring this strange heightened world that Noah Baumbach has built. This movie is absolutely absurd. Everything in this film feels just slightly off and strange. The way that the dialogue is delivered in particular is very stylized, often intentionally over-intellectual and overwritten in a way that does not feel very natural. And I think this will throw a lot of people off, especially if you're expecting a typical Bombach film where the dialogue is meant to sound very natural. And the delivery by the actors is often comedically dry. This film remarkably pulls off a very, very strange tone that I can't even describe to you. But it's not just in the dialogue, it's in the look of this movie, which also just does not feel natural. It feels too colorful with the production design and the cinematography. It's all like overdone. This movie also does some serious genre hopping throughout. The characters will almost find themselves in like a Spielbergian adventure film. And later on, our main character almost finds himself in a revenge noir. And I've seen a lot of reviews saying that they think that this movie is just kind of messy and doesn't know what it wants to be. And I just don't feel like that's a complete criticism because it's very obviously trying to throw you off and to send you on this journey where the film is just constantly morphing into something else. Like that's what I loved about this movie. I loved how ambitious this movie was. I love the risks that it took and just the sheer spectacle of it all. I, I was thrilled. And for all the weird inconsistencies in the storytelling and the genre hopping and everything, the whole thing feels glued together by the dark comedy that Noah Baumbach laces through the entire thing. That's what makes the movie work, I think, is that it just commits to this dark comedic style. And I thought the movie was really funny. And I love the way that it kind of plays with itself and mocks its own pretentious tone. And just so everybody knows, I'm not coming at this review having read the novel. I'm just approaching this purely as the movie that we got. Although I can understand why people said that this was unadaptable, it seems that he approached this movie with just a real intuition for how to handle the material because the feeling of this movie is just so particular and unique. There are some ideas that I think probably would have felt more fleshed out in the novel. I think novels are able to get more specific about things and there are certain things in this movie where it's like I can tell that this is the kind of thing where in the novel this idea was maybe expounded upon a little bit more. Some things feel just a little bit jarring even me accepting the absurdism of this movie. But those are also things that I'm gonna be looking out for in a second viewing if I feel that way. I do think it is in the details of this movie where you could probably could start to get nitpicky. But as a whole, I thought that this movie really worked and I understood the main points that it was trying to make. This movie is also very postmodern. There's a lot in here about how our subconscious is shaped by the media that we consume and also about how the media that we consume is shaped by some of our fundamental fears. Like when the movie starts slipping into other genres, it's because the character has an idea about how things play out that is shaped by things that they've watched. I have seen some people describe this movie as being cynical or nihilistic, and I just don't understand why they're saying this. I don't know what you watched. Like, did you see the ending? Sure, White Noise proposes that death looms over many of our motivations in life. I think it finds the absurd in a world where everybody has this feeling. And by the end, it almost rejoices in the absurdity of that. And so I don't know how you can say that the movie is just nihilistic. Think about Don Cheadle's hilarious lecture in the beginning of the movie about like the great American car crash. I think this movie also nails something about how we're all like, alone in our fears and we think nobody can truly understand how unique our own fears are. And yet the person next to you might be dealing with the same thing. And I think the movie arrives somewhere where that becomes kind of heartfelt, but overall you should not be expecting something like The Squid and the Whale or Marriage Story where this movie is going to deliver like an emotional gut punch. As I've said, it's very different from anything Noah Baumbach has done, but I think it more than makes up for that in remaining thought-provoking and stylistically sublime. Love the production design here, the cinematography, 
Danny Elfman's score is one of the year's highlights, I think. Everything here looks like beautifully artificial and just slightly heightened, which is something that Noah Baumbach said at our Q&A that he was going for, to make everything feel like it exists in this world that's just a little bit removed, a little bit heightened from our reality. And the original song at the end of the film from LCD Sound System, New Body Roomba, that has got to be one of my favorite uses of an original song that I've seen in a while. It's much more than just an end credits song. This scene is so memorable, and it's a moment in the film that feels uniquely cinematic, and it doesn't exist in the book because it couldn't. And I love that there's this moment at the end where Noah Baumbach feels that he's earned a moment where he can add something extra to the story. I also really like the performances here, especially Adam Driver. He and Noah Baumbach are just a dream team. I feel like they just are in sync and they understand each other. Adam Driver never allows the audience to take his character as seriously as the character takes himself. And he just nails the dry humor. Greta Gerwig seems to be getting some mixed reactions, but I think that also has to do with people being thrown off by the dialogue delivery in general here. And I did think that she was very good. I also really liked the children. I thought that they were very funny. And Don Cheadle has a funny side character. And I think he may have been actually my second favorite performance in the movie behind Adam Driver because he really felt in sync with the material, like he was delivering it exactly as it's supposed to be and more. I think this movie's best shot for an Oscar nomination is probably original song, but it also could be adapted screenplay. Now, I expressed a lot of skepticism that the movie could nail this nomination in the last predictions video because of the mixed reviews, despite the fact that Noah Baumbach is a well-respected and well-known director and that the writing here is very, very showy because sometimes that's not enough if the movie is not hitting it off with everybody. But in the weak category that is adapted screenplay, it could definitely make its way in there. People don't seem to like the movie as much as I do, but if it were up to me, it would absolutely get nominated. So I think it's a, for sure a maybe in those two categories. And then outside of that, I do doubt that it'll get any other nominations, but maybe you could say production design or score is a long shot. I really liked this movie a lot more than I thought. The reviews brought my expectations down and the movie just exceeded them the whole time. I was just like, wow, this is this is a good piece of cinema right here. This is like a rare spectacle. The fact that this was funded for like $100 million by Netflix for Noah Baumbach to just do what he wanted, like we don't get a lot of movies like that anymore. And Netflix has said they're gonna stop doing movies like this. I feel like this is a very special film. I will be watching it again when it's on Netflix and I'm giving it a nine out of 10. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. What color is the noise you hear?